Um, so I have a little bit of a different video today. I thought I would share with you um, some Lush products that I got. Um, I ordered, so I ordered this on April 5th and it is already here and it's April 9th and it shipped from the UK so it was like super quick. Um, this is not planning related obviously but um, part of my daily routine um, is, you know, some skincare typically and, you know, some bath um, care. And recently I've been getting into Lush products with their bath bombs and bubble bars and things. Um, and I also picked up some gifts for folks um, as well. So um, I wanted to show you some of the things I got, some of the things I have not tried yet so I'm excited to give them a try um, and, and share them with you. So the first thing I got was a body lotion and it is called Sympathy for the Skin um, and this is banana and cocoa butter, vanilla, lemon, la, la, dan? Danum and sandalwood perfume. So, hmm, okay. It's a very subtle scent. Okay, definitely, I definitely smell the cocoa butter and a little bit of banana and vanilla. It smells good. It's just a little dull of a smell and so it's it's good for like when you don't need to have anything um super like flashy but it it feels very hydrating so like the cocoa butter like i'm very smooth right now so i think this will be good you know what i think this will be really good for like um after i, I shape my legs and things too like for on the body as well and it's hand and body lotion so I got that, I got the Sleepy, where is it? The Sleepy, that's the mask, Sleepy Body Lotion. So this is a scent I know because I've tried the Sleepy products before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I tried the Sleepy products before and um, Yeah, that smells really good. I think this will be good for bedtime. So the sleepy scent, um, it says oatmeal infusion and lavender flowers. So it's like a lavender scent, but it's not an over um, overpowering lavender scent. So I knew I would like that body lotion because I have tried a lot of their other program, um, a lot of their other what do you call it? There are other products for the sleepy um, scent. Um, let's see, the next thing is, okay, I'm trying to, it's in order, but it's not quite in order. Okay, so the next thing, let's do the other lotion. Okay, so the other lotion is a Lime Bounty Body Butter. Put the lime in the coconut and let your skin just drink it up. Use this beautifully buttery lotion lavishly and drift away on a little riviere of skincare loveliness. Um, so this is actually not available. Oh, it has like little things of coconut on top. That's cool. Mm. Oh, that smells really good. Okay, that smells like key lime pie, kind of. It's mixing with all the other scents, but yeah, it smells like key lime pie. I'm really excited for that. That's like a body butter. I wonder if these are like, oh, I think these are like dissolvable. Yeah, because they're definitely melting, so I don't think they're actual coconut. I think that's like um, the some of the body butter features of this. This will be really good for... Um, when you need like super hydration, I'm excited to get that because they 
do not have that in the U, the U.S. blush store. Oh, that smells really good. Um, I, I just found this on the UK website, so. Um, okay, the next thing is the Cup of Coffee uh, Face and Body Mask. So this is, whoop, it looks like it tipped a little bit. Um, I got on the lid. So it looks kind of weird, but it is basically, yeah, it smells exactly like the American version. I'll have to like mix it up a little bit. Um, but essentially it's, um, it like has coffee. I forget what all it has in it, but it has coffee and then some other oils in it. And it's supposed to be an, ex oh, it has, let's see. Coffee, ground coffee, cocoa extract, and some some other essential oils. But the main thing in it is is the coffee. So it basically is an exfoliating scrub. But yeah. But yeah, that's the exfoliating for, I've tried that before. Um, the next one that I got is Beauty Sleep. So this one, um, they do have both of these face masks in the US, um, but this one uh, was out of stock. So I decided to just get, I, I actually have one of these already. Oh, it smells so good. And this is in a sleepy uh, scent, like I said. Um, and it's not really an exfoliating mask, but it's just a regular mask. And it, it leaves my skin feeling like really um, clean and like I have really oily skin. And so it makes it feel really a, a little dry, um, which is good for my skin because it tends to be really, really oily. Um, this one is Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. Um, so I recently tried a sample of this. And it has like a little hint of like citrus, but it's essentially like um, sea salt um, and then like I think lime oil. Find sea salt. Uh, oh, grapefruit, fresh lime extract, mango butter, coconut oil, avocado butter, lime oil, seaweed something. Yeah, so it, it's another exfoliating one, so I'm excited to have that. Um, so those are all of the, yeah, those are all of the uh, masks that I ordered. And then I ordered a very large, <laughs> I ordered a very large package, y'all. Um, so I ordered some, let's do the soaps while I kind of have my hands. Okay, so I'm pretty sure they made a mistake in my order. Um, cause I think they gave me an extra soap, which is nice. So I can actually just keep one. Cause I think I'm going to keep this sleepy one. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Cause I only ordered five soaps and they gave me six. So, okay. So this one is the sleepy one. Oh yeah. And it just smells like that scent. Um, oh, where's the thing? Where? Oh, this side. See, it says Lush on it. It's really cute. Yeah, and this... I'm not, like, the biggest fan of bar soaps, but I think they'll be good for, um... You know, because they have, like, kind of natural products in them. Okay, so the one I think they gave me an extra of... Let's see. Where is it? Is it this one? Yeah, these two. So I only, I'm pretty sure I only ordered one. Let's see, Muddy, yeah, Muddy Carrots Soap. So I only ordered one of these. And this was the one I was originally going to keep for myself. And this is an Easter special. It's supposed to be like really good for your skin. It doesn't really smell like anything though.
I'm not sure. Maybe in the bath it'll smell more like something. But I got two of I got two of those. Um, so it doesn't smell bad. It just doesn't really smell like much. Um, but I think it's like carrot and it's supposed to have some like mud mud qualities. Like if you kind of had a mud bath sort of thing. Um, and this one is the, um, Honey, I Wash the Kids scent. It's supposed to be like, it has this honey topping. And it's very much like a, like a caramel praline kind of scent. It smells really good though. Um, it smells really good. Um, so, I have that one. That's really nice. And then, okay, then I got this one, which is rhubarb and custard. This is a really nice scent. I actually really like this scent a lot. Yeah. Um, and this one's going to my grandma, actually, for sure. Even though I like the scent, it's going to her um, for Mother's Day. And then this one's going to her as well. This is olive tree soap. Yeah, and it smells like olive oil. <laughs> it smells very clean, but as she likes that sort of like the, I guess, sort of earthy scents, so I think she'll like it. So I think I'm gonna give the rhubarb and custard and the olive oil one to my grandma, and then I'm gonna give my mom one of the carrot and mud ones, and then the um, honey, I, uh, honey, I washed the kids scent, and then, because I think I've sent her the sleepy scent before, and then I got an extra of the mud and carrot one, so I'll keep that one for, for me. Okay. Okay, and then, let's do bubble bars. So I got, um, several bubble bars. So I got a couple different ones. Okay, so this one I've tried before. This is Bubble Bubble Toil in Trouble. Um, it's kind of in the shape of a lightning bolt. It's It smells very citrusy. What does it have in it? Popping candy. Olib olibinum oil. I'm not sure, but it smells kind of like zesty lime. And apparently, I didn't know this, but apparently this is glowy in the dark one. So when I used it before, um, I wasn't completely in the dark. So I guess you're supposed to leave it out in the light for a little bit. And then it's supposed to glow in the bath. So that's cool. And these bubble bars you can use like several times in... A row like this one is a little bit on the smaller side, so I will separate it into two um, two baths usually. And then what else I got? I got okay. I got two of the sleepy ones. So these look the these look different than the ones that I've gotten in the U.S. Um, they look a little darker, like darker purple. So I'm interested to see. Um, if they're if they look any different in the bath but it smells so good it's that sleepy scent it's like lavender soft malted lavender is the scent um and then i got two i actually got two of those because i love this bubble bar uh, so much so and then I also got this one, which is a new one for me to try, which is called Nana. It's creamy, softening, sweetness. And it's supposed to be, it has banana, um, oatmeal, and it's supposed to be like, kind of like butterscotch scent. It does smell like that a little bit so it has a little bit of a uh, 
of a shimmer in it, so I'm excited to try that. Whoops. I'm getting it all over. Um, okay, so there's that one. And then I also got, okay, two ones that I have tried before. So this one is Bright Side, and it's like a citrus um, bubble bar. Oh, and it smells, I think I read it was like tangerine oil in it, but it smells so good. Um, and I got two of them. This also looks different from the UK. Like, I feel like the United States one that I've gotten looks a little bit more, um, like a little lighter in color. So I'm wondering if this is going to be a little bit more concentrated so I'll be interested to see that and then same with this one again it's like much darker so this is the comforter and it's um oh, it smells so good it's pink berry and these so these big bubble bars these are it's a bigger bubble the bubble bar um, so I would use this over like three or four baths. Um, the butterscotch one, Nana, that I showed you, I would probably use that over probably three to four baths too. And then the sleepy would be three to four baths as well. The the bubble bubble toil and trouble, the lightning one, it's supposed to go in the dark. That one's a little smaller, so that one would probably only be two. Um, but yeah, this one is like it's much darker. Like it's a much more um, concentrated pink so I'll have to see if it looks any different in the bath compared to the ones that I've gotten in the States okay oh, okay and you may think we're done but we're not okay so we got and sorry if I'm looking at this paper they give me they give you this paper which um, lays out like what the different ones look like that aren't because they come like naked in the box which I actually don't really care for um and I ordered the bags thinking that they would pre-bag everything for me but they just threw the bags in the box on top of everything that was naked with peanuts in it so I didn't really like that but that's okay all right so let's find the Sakura one. Where's the Sakura one? Okay, I think this one's the Sakura. Yeah, so this one has to be the Sakura. So this is Jasmine. This looks different than what it looks like on the, uh, the thing, but um, so this looks like ja it's a simple Jasmine springtime soak. And it looks like it has like lemon oil in it and it looks like it has sea salt it it smells very floral so I'm interested to see I have not tried this one they um, may have this one in the States I'm not sure I haven't seen it um, in the store but they may have it in the States um, this one is dragon's egg I know they have one this one in the US Oh, that smells really good. Um, I don't know if it'll necessarily do any colors in the bath, but popping candy, lemon oil. So it actually, this one smells just like the um, Toil and Trouble bubble bar. The bubble, bubble, toil and trouble bubble bar. This smells, this is the same scent. So it's kind of that like candied lime scent, sort of. Um, it smells really good though. Um, I got the comforter bubble bar. I got two, I, or bath bomb, sorry. I got two of these. And I also got two of the bubble bars because I just love this scent. This also looks a little different than the ones that I'm used to in the States. Oh, 
I'm not picking up as much of the scent, but I think that's because it was in the box with some other like stronger scents, so I think it kind of stuck to it. I wonder if this one, I can pick up the scent. This one's the same one. Yeah, this one, this one smells more like it, like that sleepy scent. Um, but yeah, that's the sleepy, well, the comforter back then, that's the sleepy scent. And then, ooh, this is one of the ones that, they do have it in the States, but they're currently sold out of it. And this is the Avo Bath. And this one smells so good. It's like bright green. Mm. It says refreshing green lemongrass soak. It has fresh avocado, olive oil, lemongrass oil. Mm. It smells so good. I got two of these because I wanted to stock up on that and have it for more than just one. Okay, what haven't I gone over yet? Okay, so I haven't gone over these. Okay, let me, I think I'm almost done, y'all. Okay. Okay, so I think I got four more. Okay, so this one's the Twilight Bath Bomb and this one's in the, um, the sleepy scent, mm, so it has that um, that like lavender. Mm. It smells really good, and it has these kind of like moons and stars on it for like sleep time. Yes, um, and then oh, let's do this one. So this one is one that I have not seen in the states, and I don't think it's on their website. It's called Adam Heart Mother, and it's an apple-scented summer's day, and is the description. And it has like clouds on it. It smells like like apple and floral kind of. So I'm interested to see how this um, how this smells in the bath. I'm interested. I'm intrigued. And again, I don't think that one is in the States. I'm getting all glittery. Do you see this glitter on me? Probably not, but I am getting all glittery. Okay, let's save the most glittery one for last. Okay, so this one is the Marshmallow World one. And it looks like this. And it says Sweet Pink Vanilla Soaks. What does this have in it? It has sage oil, icing sugar, and marshmallow root powder. Mm, okay. It just smells very fruity and yeah, I've tried this one before. I forget what color it turned my bath, but it definitely did. And this one is the <laughs> one that also I don't think they have in the States or maybe it was just like a seasonal item in the States. Um, but this is the Goddess Bath Bomb, and this one, I think, is the one that was, um, like, Ariana Grande inspired. Um, it has a ton of glitter on it. It says seductive O-U-D-H, Oot, Oot, and Jasmine Soak. It smells very floral. So it has... Rose oil, sandalwood oil, O O U D H oil, which I'm not sure what that is. Argan oil, shea butter. Those are the like main ingredients in it. So, yeah, very floral. I just touched it to my face, so I probably have look at. I have glitter all over my hand now. I probably have glitter all over my face too. Okay, hold on. So yeah, that, I think that's everything. Did I get everything? I think so. Take and take. Yeah, I think I did. So I got, I got like a bunch of stuff. Um, I got like way too much. This was like a very late night order, but it was totally worth it because I got everything that I wanted um 
and they like didn't have all these products on like I said on the US site so it very much was like I kind of had to get it um, I kind of had to get it from the UK or I would have had to wait for it to be back on the site in order to kind of get it so um, those are just um, some of well that's all the things that I got from Lush that is just some of the products that they have like I said I've tried a lot of them um, and so a lot of them are things that I've either tried samples of or I have tried um, or I haven't tried but like know I'll like because of the scent like I haven't tried the sleepy body lotion but I know that I'll like it because I like the scent and I haven't tried some of the um, soaps and there's a couple new bath bombs and bubble bars that I have not tried um, yet but I'm very excited for this haul and thank you so much if you joined me for this I know that this isn't necessarily like planning related but I think self-care is really important so you don't have to like get Lush products in order to self-care but um, this is like something that I've really found very very nice at the end of my day to just have some like nice bath products and face products and just make me feel um, all, all clean and wonderful so thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you later bye mm -hmm.